What's up guys, welcome back to Left Coast Pops. Today we are doing the Ultra Applesauce Pick 3 Challenge, so stick around. Okay, so before we get into this, I want to take a second to shout out the person who tagged me or challenged me in this, and that is Chunky Swole Pops. So make sure you go check out his Instagram, it's right here. And I'm also gonna link him down in the description. So make sure you show him some love, and uh, thanks so much, man. It's been great getting to know him for the past couple weeks, and starting to talk to him and get to know other collectors. It's pretty rad, so. Uh, and that kind of brought me back into this, right? Like, what we're doing this challenge about, and some of the sentimental things in there, but we'll get there when we get there, right? So we gotta start off with uh, our most expensive pop. A sentimental piece and then something like wild card from your collection that isn't Funko related so I'm pretty excited about that because uh, I'm a collector I've collected tons of stuff for so long now and uh, it, it's just like in my blood it's like constantly here I'm just like yeah collecting I gotta have it all um, but yeah so let's start off with our most expensive pop and if you guys have been following me for a while you probably already know what this is uh, it is metallic Martian from uh, San Diego Comic Con 2012. This thing is so sick. Uh, I love the pop. It usually runs right around anywhere between like $900 and $1,000 on PPG. Uh, this, the story behind how I got this, I bought it at Frank and Sons like in 2012 um, when these first released and it was 25 bucks. I spent $25 on this and now it's hovering right around 1000 So pretty hyped on that. Uh, super excited that this turned into uh, something more, man. And it's, it's so sick. 480 pieces, awesome metallic piece. Man, I love this thing. Can't get over it. So, my most expensive piece is Martian. Look at those eyes. Get lost in its eyes. Okay, now on to the sentimental piece of this uh, video. So, uh, I think that what makes Funko so popular and so awesome is that everything about it is sentimental, right? So the reason why we buy these things is because we enjoyed watching a TV show or we, um, I don't know, enjoyed a certain cereal when we were growing up and things like that and that's what makes it popular and that's what makes Funko what is Funko right so uh with this one in particular I had a hard time like figuring out like what was sentimental because every single piece has a story whether it be like with the person that you got it from or where you bought it from or the reason why you bought it it's all you know sentimental right there's all something right in here that makes you want this piece so with this one, uh, with well, I should say these ones in particular, though, uh, it was pretty important to me because it has a lot to do with like this community, right? Like YouTube, Instagram, like Funko community, where um, I came in right about a year ago and I started making friends. And uh, one of the first people to ever reach out to me was uh, my friend G Boats Pop Vinyl. So I'm gonna put his Instagram right here and then put his YouTube over here. Make sure you guys go check him out. I'm gonna link him down below. Um, and he was one of the first people that like I made as a friend in this community. So um, these pops I actually have gotten from him. He is one of the coolest dudes in the world and uh, he is my Canadian homie, man. I, I love it. So. These all came from him. Uh, these are all Canadian exclusive uh, Montreal Canadiens pops. And they all came from my dude G-Boats. Um, yeah, like uh, there's just something about making friends and finding that person that like is the first one to reach out to you and you link up and you talk shit and you have a good time and now he's in the FCS, you know, and it's awesome, man. It's, it's just a good time. So that's why that was so sentimental to me. It was like, these are the first pops that I was get that I got from some, like from the first person that I ever met in this community that became my friend. It was pretty rad. So there's that touching heartfelt part for everybody out there that was waiting for that moment. Uh, but yeah, so shout out to G-Boats. Like I said, make sure you go subscribe to him. Go shoot him some love. Uh, tell him he's our favorite Canadian <laughs> out there. And um, yeah, so moving on, right? The third piece of this is wild card. So wild card, it's, it's supposed to be something that's in your collection, you collect that isn't Funko, right? Uh, as you guys probably know, I collect a ton of stuff. Um, you know, my wife and I collect DVDs and Blu-rays. Behind me, I have my record collection. Um, I, I mean, like, there's a lot of different stuff that we collect and uh, it's all a good time. But I wanted to take this moment to shout out an artist that I really enjoy. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at Left Coast Pops. But, um, these are by an artist named uh, Josh Hansen, and they're so adorable. So these are uh, the Baphomet and Friends. Uh, they're like 
little cat bath maze. They're adorable. And they're all like cool little vinyl figures. I mean, they're pretty rad. This one is painted like Sam from Trick or Treat. And if you guys, I mean, you should know that that's like one of my favorite horror movies of all time. So this was actually the first one I ever picked up. And I recently picked uh, the black and purple one up. And then also this new line he started to do, they're like little bears. The cute little bears, he puts like little uh, sigils on the front, like there's the Baphomet and uh, like inverted pentagram on this one. Uh, they're super adorable. I think they're rad and it's always cool to, you know, support artists that are on the, uh, on the come up, you know, they're really rad. And Josh has always been a really cool dude. I love the way he does his drops. I love the way he does his art. Uh, I love the way he runs his Instagram because uh, he'll show like really cool, um, like progress shots of everything, right? As he's painting them and getting them ready. And he releases every weekend. So make sure you guys go check him out. Follow his Instagram. I'll put his Instagram right here. Uh, his name's Josh Hansen. Really, really cool guy. Super nice. Uh, so make sure you go show, go show him some love. All right, guys. And that's it for this one. Uh, I had a great time doing it. Once again, shout out to Chunky Swole Pops. Uh, make sure you check him out. And then also check out all my friends at the Funko Collector Society. And before we get out of here, we got to remember, I got to challenge two more people to do this. So I'm going to go with my friends. We got to have our pops, my co-founders of the Funko Collector Society. And uh, why not G-Boat's Pop Vinyl? I think that he may have already gotten challenged to do this. But if not, we're going to throw it uh, his way. So let's see what you got over there, bud. Um, yeah, and once again, guys, thanks so much for showing so much support for this channel. Um, I'm going to try to upload twice a week for y'all so you guys can get some more content. And I got a lot of ideas flowing, so get some more stuff out there. Have a good time. And if you're enjoying this, please hit the subscribe button. Shoot me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below about how much you love it. And tell a friend, dude. I would love to see this channel grow. Uh, and if you're enjoying it, I think your friends would enjoy it too, right? So uh, make sure you follow my friends, the Funko Collector Society. And as always, follow me on Instagram at Left Coast Pops. Guys, this has been a blast. So much fun. Uh, lots of love to everybody, and I will see y'all next week. Peace!